Hey YouTube, it's Cousin Dan. This time I want to show you how to reupholster a dashboard. The dashboard in my 944 has got cracks all over it. It's mo mainly from heat over the years and I mean the thing is uh, going on 23 years old now. So what I did is I went to Joanne Fabrics and I bought some vinyl material and it's, it's kind of a crosshatch fabric on the back and then a vinyl that sort of mimics leather on the front and uh, you can stretch it and pull it when you heat it. Uh, I'm going to show you all about it. We're going to re-cover uh, the dash by first taking off what's already been there and then uh, cutting and fitting uh, what I got. So here's how you do it. Alright, so here's the problem. <clears throat> With this one you've got cracks up and down here, you've got cracks all up across the top where the air comes out through the dash to uh, defrost the window. So what you have to do is get everything out of the way. And So you can see here I took off the vent uh, the plastic vent here that opens and closes the airflow and uh, along here these trim pieces also are going to have to come out. Uh, I took off already the control module for the uh, climate control um, but one thing to note there is that this stuff especially on an old car can get really really brittle because you've got heat coming past it every day through every winter that it's been around and driving and uh, it warms up and then it cools down right away when you park it so that, that plastic doesn't like that and it gets very brittle and you end up cracking things like this so I'm gonna have to fix that later. You gotta be also creative when you're looking for where they put the screws because on interior pieces they most often uh, try to hide them from you and when they do that um, it makes it uh, it makes cracking pieces also a, a possibility because then you think well maybe this is just snap off because I can't find a screw then you pull on it and you break it so anyway be careful be very careful this is also a uh, Luke 1428 moment uh, make sure that you can get it back on if you take it off don't start tearing off your old dashboard unless you already know the cost that is that you know you're going to be looking at when you're putting it back together um, and I don't mean monetary I mean like if you can't get these things off you're not going to be able to put it back on correctly and you're going to have trim uh, on your dash that just isn't fitted it's going to look terrible so make sure you can get all these pieces off before you start cutting off your original dash. One thing to look for right away are the areas like this where you have a little cover that snaps on over the screw. This is how they hide screws sometimes especially on older cars and you just have to put your screwdriver right in there and pry it off they just snap off like that and then look there I exposed two screws. Now that I've removed all the trim pieces that I want to I'm just gonna go ahead and start at the top and uh, and I'm gonna start peeling the top of the dash back. I may end up using a heat gun to to uh, get it to warm up and move a little bit more as I peel it back uh, but that's what comes off next. Because the original dash came off in pieces after being cracked up so badly, I'm actually going to come to the outside and throw the uh, the roll of vinyl over the windshield, and then roughly trace it uh, against the dashboard, and then we'll cut it out. What you want to do though is just make sure that you have enough extra that you can cut away um, and uh, later and have a better fit. So I'm just going to take this pen and uh, look underneath and kind of mark where I think it should be and then I'll just give myself a little extra space later when I cut. This is actually the same stuff I used in the uh, jet ski upholstery video. It's great stuff. It's that fabric on one side, vinyl on the other. Anyway, you can just cut it with a blade like this or with a scissors. Now that I've got this thing all cut out, I'm just uh, ready to push it up against the top of the dash, start forming it, and gluing it down. Okay, so when we put this down, I actually used a contact cement. You just put it on one side and then put it on the, on the dashboard as well, and then wait just like two or three minutes, and then set the thing down, the glue on top of the glue, and it really locks down well, but if, if you wait only two or three minutes, you can move it around still in case you didn't set it down just right. So I only have one strip at the top of the dash just to hold it in place, and then I'm going to work it down by putting little bits as I come down the dashboard and, and fit it to the form of the, of the foam underneath. Just getting some glue in here around the vent holes in the dash. And then I'll just set the vinyl down on top of it. 
and I'll just keep working my way down the dash around each obstacle. When you get the uh, top locked down with the glue um, and it's not going to go anywhere, then uh, it's good to add a little bit of heat. I have this Drill Master heat gun thing. You can also use a hair dryer. And if you add a little bit of heat, apply some heat, you can, uh, you can form the stuff around the, the uh, shapes on the dash. And then, uh, like here I have an air vent and here I have the surrounder for the instruments. Just place those things in there and cut it to fit and the, the plastics will usually hold it in place. You can see here how well it forms when you, uh, when you warm it up and then put the glue down and just keep kind of applying pressure every so often. You're going to have things like this vent that has to go here, but once you really see where everything's going to seat, you can, uh, you can then cut out the excess like this and uh, leave just the, enough flaps that the, the plastic will actually hold it down around the edges. And you can just kind of push it in and then set your piece in there. Well, this is going to take a little bit more since I got this, but you can kind of see how that's going to end up going in there and holding it down, kind of like that. So what I'm doing with this glue is it's basically a, a, just kind of a runny, sort of snot-like substance, I'm just brushing it on. Uh, you want to you wanna have, I have this, this here that I have it on as a piece of the old dash liner. You want to have something that's plastic, because if you put it on cardboard, it will kind of soak in and eat it away, and it won't be any good. It'll be really hard to work with. So, you just kind of take it and be a uh, you know, be liberal with it, uh, especially on the porous side of the vinyl here. Um, you can you can put less, just kind of brush it onto the dash itself. But you really want to be pretty liberal on the uh, the fabric side. But uh, the key is just getting it spread around and enough of it on everything that it will stick. Um, and then uh, and then letting it tack up before you touch them together because if it doesn't tack up then it's going to take a lot longer to dry together and you're going to especially if, if you're trying to form it to something you're going to have to hold it in that form for a really long time so that's no fun so let it tack up before you put the two together all the fit and finish just kind of comes naturally when you put the plastics back together on most of these dashes now what i have to do is go up to the top and cut holes in the, uh, in the in the vinyl for where the air comes out for the defroster vents. What I'm doing here is I'm taking the heat gun again and I'm softening up the vinyl so that I can then push down on it above the openings in the dash underneath where the defroster uh, hot air comes out and I can kind of push an outline into the vinyl and then mark it with a pen and then cut it out like I did right here. Alright, and there you have it. You just kind of press it down and that uh, contact cement then holds in even a little bit more. And uh, you do that all the way across the top of your dash and you have your defroster vents. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Cousin Dan.